Good afternoon, everybody. It is Mike, the Bowtie Writer, and today we wanted to have our next quick and dirty video. Namely, I want to talk about setting. When it comes to trying to plan your setting, this is either one of the easiest or one of the overwhelmingly hardest things to do when it comes to something like NaNoWriMo, and it really does depend a lot on your genre. So I want to talk to those people who are first dealing with just basically a contemporary setting or something that's not super far removed. In this case, the best thing that you can write down is two or three important locations to your story and what makes them special. Maybe the cop confronts a killer in a mannequin factory, like that sounds legitimately terrifying. Perfect. Put it down here. The idea is to write down these ideas of places that you think are interesting or unique features to make the place is pop. Okay, so I said that that was kind of the easy side of things, or it can be really hard. And it can be really hard if, my dear fantasy and science fiction writers, you're trying to have some time to write about your setting. Typically, you have some element, some speculative element to that initial idea that makes you go, oh, you know what? This would make a great fantasy or science fiction novel. That's the seed that we really want to focus on. Specifically, I want you to ask yourself, what makes my setting unique? This doesn't have to be some overwhelmingly long description. It could be a simple description that people burn metal for magic, or people ride dragons and fly. People do cast lots of magical spells and it's very commonplace. Giant starships are normal. People fly around in dirigibles and steampunk setting is what takes it up. To help yourself when you're dealing with speculative fiction, I want you to write down simply three interesting facts about this speculative world that you are wanting to write. Here, the sky is the limit. And by the sky, I mean that box. One of the things I said very early on in one of the opening videos was that the whole purpose of this quick and nerdy novel prep method is to give you constraints. I'm not saying that this is the best way to world build for fantasy or science fiction. Instead, I'm giving you a highly constrained way to focus your thinking so that you don't overthink it. And especially with speculative fiction, it is incredibly easy to overthink what it is you're trying to accomplish, and suddenly you're just paralyzed and frozen and not sure what to do. So for this item in particular, more so than anything else at this point, it is incredibly important that you try to stick to the constraints. This is not the time to sit down and build a 20,000 word opus about your world. This is not the place to start going back to the tectonic activity of the world that you were creating in. This is intentionally very, very small. Spend just 20 minutes on this. So that's it. That's all I have for the quick and dirty videos today. Um, there's one more tomorrow and that will be plot and that one is going to be a bit of a doozy, but we will get through it together. Mike the Bowtie Writer, I'll catch you all tomorrow.